Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Denez the Human, and welcome back to our Rebels campaign of Rome Remastered. Where today, of course, we need to smash up the Greeks just a little bit more. Rhodes over here is looking awfully vulnerable with our big stack of armies. And of course, whilst they do have a few hot plights here, when we go and capture the Colossus of Rhodes, we'll be in a much better position to deal with the uh, slight issue of this deficit here. Now, of course, we've already taken Sparta, Corinth has fallen. Athens is just about holding on, but uh, we do have some reinforcements to come in. Now, uh, in between episodes, I have just taken out that small force hanging outside Athens. Gives us an opportunity to move the rest of my forces around to support. So, I think we were going to want to head into this battle before too long. Yes, uh, of course, we can control the reinforcements as well. I swung over the side just so we're a bit closer to them. I want to get all my men together because it is a faction leader. We need to be just a little bit careful. We'll come back to that battle in a moment or two. But let's just take stock because last time, of course, we had a barnstorming affair. We smashed so, so many towns to the ground. Byzantium still, uh, well, Tom's Antium, I should say, still not back under our control. But I think we more than, more than made up for it. More than made up for it with the likes of Patavium, Mundinium, of course, Barricum. Um, honestly, I think the Britons are done or near enough. Don't know what's in uh, Summer Breaver over here, but uh, by the time we get our druids and uh, our experienced warband over here around and join the army over here, well, I don't think there's a lot they'll be able to do. They did some reinforcements on a boat, but we've got that a little bit blocked off at the moment. So that could be that could be our first faction, our first big scalp, and hopefully a few generals floating around that we can go and grab for ourselves. Although if they're on the boat, good chance they just die. I'm not 100% sure what will happen there. You see the end of my Papal States campaign on Medieval 2, you might well have seen um, a very strange result when a faction dies and there are some men on the boat. But um, yeah, go watch that if you haven't already. I don't know what will happen on the remastered. It might be slightly different. At Repetavium, of course, we were going to head over towards the likes of Araminum over here, or Araminum, however we're supposed to pronounce that. There are a few more units floating around, but they can't quite make it there without a bit of danger to themselves so I'm a little bit reticent but probably is the time to start wandering along and I think yeah they'll see us now but that gives us a little bit of a better right okay they're gonna cause uh, that could be a bit of a problem but you know what it's not the end of the world if they go and get rid of us uh, we've got the main army coming in if nothing else it drags them away from the city and uh, if they don't bother to attack, well, great. we got some reinforcements to come and help us out. Uh, we'll count it as scouting and nothing more, potentially. Um, of course, over in Egypt, I'm still a little bit terrified with these guys. They're floating around. But um, we are going to try and counter the Slayers. I reckon with Antioch soon to be put under siege, we might as well go and knock back the, uh, the Slayers over here. Maybe, maybe hold back on the Egyptians. Focus on this area for the time being. We don't really want to... Uh, yeah, everything swept up behind us. It would be nice to keep a few of these cities for the time being. The odd little unit poking their nose around, but nothing too much of interest in this part of the world, unfortunately. Chesnessus will fall, and uh, the Amazons, sadly, aren't going to get the reinforcements from over there. But hey, for now, let's probably focus on the main thing, which is heading in to these Greek forces outside of Athens. Now, I'm not sure what they have left apart from Rhodes, and presumably they still have the Thessaly area over here, but uh, I'm not 100% sure what they've got. So very soon we'll find out, because once we've dealt with this army, the path north will be clear open for us. Let's hit him. Well, the first unit has wandered slowly towards us, got themselves shot by Cretans, and eventually finished off by the Javelins, so I'm quite happy with the way this has started off. It's nice to have one unit broken, or at least a... Uh, a little bit damaged, if nothing else. It means that slowly, slowly, we can start working on the rest of these guys. And uh, hopefully, that's just one more very weak unit to break in a little while. Some peasants coming in. That's just, honestly, let's just get a single volley on them. That will pretty much uh, clear those guys off before they've even begun. But more importantly, the hoplites are starting to get into range. And actually, despite the little range monitor here, it is definitely... Uh, available for us to murder them so let's just hold back on these peasants we'll just uh, let them kill themselves all our javelins are on yeah not at fire at will anymore everyone into those hoplites our hoplites will uh, 
the music barely even started for them because it was going to be such a simple victory. Oh no, we're on skirmish. Of course we are. Well, not really an issue. Get our two skirmishes and line them all up. Are they, are they running away? Don't run away. I want to kill you. Does it say that we're drawing? I don't know. They might just be moving and shuffling around. I'm not too worried about that. You, sir, get back into position. Thank you very, very much. And, yeah, just continue to shoot those chaps down. Not really sure where they're going. I don't really like the flanking manoeuvre. But uh, let's not worry too much about that. Let's get most of the force moving around once we've javelined this lad to death. Not sure I really understand the approach of the army right now because, uh, yeah, these hoplites are now fully in range of us and they're just going to get annihilated by our javelins. Now, they are doing something. I don't really know what they're doing. They're certainly not running away at this point. So, yeah, these guys aren't happy. They're wavering. They're in javelins in all sorts of directions. So we want to see. Archers are shooting into the Peltasts. To be honest, lads, you should really just change over to these guys at this point. And you lads, do you want to... You know what? Just send the Salutians to charge into those lads. That is absolutely fine by me. Just keep an eye on what they're doing. By and large, though, we're absolutely fine. Uh, let's not worry about the javelins for the moment. That will hopefully clear them out. But hopefully they're not too exposed. But their generals a uh, fair whack away at this point. You know, we'll just turn and throw into uh, these chaps. They're not in the best position. They're in range of these guys as well. And, yeah, the AI is... I mean... People said it's improved, but it's a little bit going a little bit strange right now. Okay, let's just grab my group and uh, start turning around at this point. Run into position, lads. They seem to be officially running at this point. We've done quite a bit of damage, actually. Half of them have been taken out. Um, I'd like to have had a proper bout here, but sadly, we're not really going to get the opportunity. Might as well clear off what we can. There's some peasants over here. We should be able to catch up with these hoplites, actually. And whilst they're running... We still have plenty of time to get on top of them. Javelins have largely used up everything. But I think at this point, yeah, they are officially withdrawing. There we are, yeah. So uh, that's sadly all we're going to do because we've got no cav here. But at the very least, Athens is now free once again. And with that, Athens is under our control once more. And Corinth and Sparta, of course, have themselves a small garrison to prevent any funny business from the Macedonians. It seems like the Greeks are over here in Termon, and I'm not so sure about Apollonia, but they're definitely looking pretty weak at this point, especially if we go and smash up roads. And roads would definitely be helpful because with a bit of money, we can get ourselves some hoplites from Athens, and Defence of 16, we could definitely do with a little bit of that. Of course, not only sacking the city will help us, but the Colossus of Rhodes for 40% naval trade. Oh, that's something that we definitely need. And with these guys outside the city, we might just get the chance to do some hefty damage without all the awkwardness of the walls. So, let's take these guys on. We have the Hoplites and the Rhodian Slingers to take care of. Now, we do have some of our own Cretans and Rhodians, but it could be a little bit awkward because our cav is basically non-existent. It can only really mop up any routing men. There's men on the Sparta inside as well with some extra Hoplites. Might be best trying to snipe him as he enters the battlefield. Yeah, that's probably the best choice by a mile, actually. So, uh, some half-decent units. The hot plates, though, fairly low on morale. Surprisingly low on morale, actually. So, we might have a good chance to take those out. We did pretty well against them in the last battle, so let's hit in. This is a pretty big one. Turns out I got my position totally wrong. So, we're going to rush right over to these chaps. I can actually see the city in the background, which I always used to be able to. It's the distant colossal of roads over there, but uh, yeah, sorry, that slightly dented our moves here. But nonetheless, we're going to run in and see what we can do to these guys. They're still fairly trapped in the corner. Uh, the general seems to be turning before the hoplites are here. Hoplites! Get your things down! <laughs> Okay, well at the very least we're going to get him trapped, that's something isn't it? Um, whilst that's happening, you guys just shoot into there and you get him dealt with. Our general's definitely taken a bit of an unnecessary conk there right at the start. But uh, who are you by the way? You're the pale test there? He goes. <laughs> well it worked out one way or another. Not quite sure how many men we lost there. Uh, a couple, about 13. I'll very much take that, that worked out beautifully for me. And a few javelin men can hopefully do their job. Get the general in around the back of these guys. They're about to break. They are wavering. 
Here come a couple javelins, and we are golden. There we go. So they're officially ready. <laughs> okay, missiles, get yourselves over here. We need to turn around to face the main army at this point. Obviously, I have myself a nice hill advantage at this point, so we're going to make good use of it. Although mainly, I want to take out these slingers while they aren't shooting back. The more of them I can slaughter nice and early, the better. I have so much infantry. I'm quite happy just to let them come into me. They're withdrawing. They're going to withdraw through us. Very, very interesting behaviour here. Yeah, the angle is very, very interesting. Not really sure what they're doing. So, uh, okay, that's interesting. You guys, just start running over there and cutting them off if you can. We'll send the fanatics over in this direction. These, are they just running straight into us? They are, aren't they? They, they are. Okay, this, this is very, very confusing. But um, okay. Uh, Peltas, shoot into these chats back here. The Peltas are better on this at not aiming at those who are clearly right in front of you. Uh, they might as well throw these guys. That's what they're doing. These javelins, get yourself over here. And this is all very, very strange. Okay, it's just... They want to run and we will hopefully catch them. Only 16 casualties inflicted from the Greek army there. I thought that might have been a little bit awkward, but uh, no, that one worked very nicely in my favour and I think with that we've largely done for the turn here but uh can't help but feel the tension as I see if I get roads or not no sadly I'm gonna have to besiege it yet it's a little bit disappointing because I could do with this force getting back over to Sardis soon but there we go well at the very least that'll be a simple enough one to crack down uh we've got the Cretans to win that battle how many Rhodians only 10 that's fine, that's fine. We can clear them out without too many problems. Okay, uh, next turn. Next turn we're going to have a bit of fun because there's Carthage, which with Faps is empty. Now, that might seem like a bit of a foolish decision, but they're going to get tempted. So, I don't know who's turned this first, Carthage or Numidia. I think Carthage, but one of them's going to walk in here and the other one's not going to like it. I'm hoping that keeps them distracted. Of course, yes, a Berricum will soon fall. And indeed, Carthage are going to take Thapsis, which means Carthage is pretty much unguarded, if my uh, if my intel is correct. So Sardis here under siege. Unfortunately, we'll probably lose that before we can get back to reinforce. Bit of a shame. Oh yeah, we're besieging Tingi. Uh, I don't think we have much of a chance here. We've got big piles of peasants, but we'll give it a go. You never know. There's 45 from the faction leader. Yeah, we're we're in trouble. Of course, the one thing the AI tends to do in a sunny battle is get out way, way too slowly with uh, yeah, one unit at a time. Now, it's not quite that bad here for them, but oh, we've got the route. We've got the route. Get out of there, General. Get out of there. Get the javelins in. Get the javelins into those desert infantry. My cab needs to just make sure they don't do anything stupid. And okay, good. General, get yourself over there. Line yourself up for a nice charge on the desert infantry. We need to get the javelins thrown in ASAP. There comes the general. Okay, get yourselves over here. Charge into them. I think we need to just get ourselves over here now, over this side. There we are. We got the break. Got the break. General, get on top of them. In fact, general, can you just get in the city? Wait, 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 wait. Peasants, get on top of that general. Javelins, you deal with them. Can that general just sneak in to the city and take them all out? That might actually be a not bad plan here come on hack 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 him down hack him down it's pretty not the best idea to get my general um all of this way out of it to be honest because yeah they're likely to break oh you know what he's done some good work but sadly they're not going to hold without him there are they no they're not um okay on the plus side if they're all gonna flee very least my general can mop up all of these guys. I might actually have a chance. This gate's ours. This gate is ours. Okay. So, general's going to be busy with them. Get on top. Get on top of them. <laughs> we might have a chance. Yes. Get on top of these guys. Get on top of them. We have ourselves a bit of time. Where is the general? He is over there somewhere. Okay. We have a opportunity here just to take this right get on top of these guys general get over are we so confused the pathfinding is a nightmare which means that he's gonna get back in the city yeah unfortunately the pathfinding did us in a bit there 
So, <laughs> we have to fight him on the plaza. I mean, I don't really know what's happening. They, they seem to not be able to kill this one guy on the plaza, which means that now I can't win. Diamond Blast. We had a chance there. Let's just go and attack those guys out there. Maybe time will pass. Maybe it'll leave us alone. Now, I know this might have been a bit of a joke victory had I won it, but, um, yeah, I feel a little bit hard done by, by the Pathfinder. It couldn't kill the unit. I... I I could have had a chance. I could have gone and taken that gate for me. Um, but alas, alas not. In the end, I guess we'll just have to end it there. Um, I'll take that for now. And um, how many do I have? 73. They have 46 remaining. And unfortunately, that's all pretty much the general. And they're coming out for round two. Yeah, I noticed this on many a True Nerds campaign. They've just gone for another attack. Now, I kind of understood it on his because... They never did attack, it just kind of started the sally and then it stopped. But they had a proper battle there, so this seems a bit a bit unnecessary. Oh well, we'll give it another go. So a similar plan to last time, I'm uh, just going to head into these guys, clear them out, and hopefully we can, um, yeah, I don't know what the general's doing, but hopefully we can kind of outmaneuver him and wander back into the city. That's kind of the plan here. Now the main plan with alongside that, Come on, don't kill them all. You've got to let them run away. Got to let them run away just enough. They're shaking. Come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Of course, the issue this time is that this unit won't break and they're kind of stuck as they are, which means, uh, unfortunately, I'm probably going to end up killing them and I want to get into the city. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, that's kind of ruined my entry to the city now, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Right, well, you lads are going to have to grab the ram and hopefully wander your way in uh, slowly. You guys just run away, actually. Just keep them as far away as possible. Yeah, that might have to be what we do here. Now, my general will have to flee alongside with these guys. Um, are they going to react to us picking up the ram? I hope not. Just get the ram over there. Uh, you guys in this direction. You try not to run into the tower, actually. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, you get the ram. Oh, this is silly. So they're chasing them off. Uh, you go over here. You go over here. <laughs> Just lead them away. Quickly! Push the ram! We're attacking the gate, but we're also running from the enemy endlessly. This is a beautiful, beautiful race and I kind of love it. We've got the gate down now and that means... <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Right. Keep on running. Keep on running. Right. You put the gate. You put the thing down. Uh, Get to the plaza. This is keep running away. Keep running away. Are they going to react to the plaza being taken? Because I've got this gate here. So presumably they can't get in this way. Oh, this is absolute cheese. But I love cheesing it after I feel like I've just been cheesed. This is just beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, sir. 14 peasants have just taken your town. <laughs> well, you know what? If the game's going to be slightly dodgy by constantly sallying forth, I'll be dodgy back, damn it. Weirdly, he just stepped back out of the city. Surely he has to die. Well, I hope he's dead. That's all I can say. Although that certainly would be a little bit harsh on him. But, um... <laughs> right, so is he hiding in that forest? Uh, who knows? Anyway, we've... We've got Tingy now. We've got um, one javelin man. Three peasants who survived the onslaught and laid on the ground pretending to be dead, presumably, while he chased down their friends. Very nice indeed. Now, what can we get from these chaps, Numidian javelin men? Absolutely terrible, but at the very least, it's a bit of money. Only minus 9,500 now, which I suppose isn't too bad. And uh, Carthage. Oh, there's Carthage right there. Now, can we make it there? I think let's just get all of our men as close as possible so you're over here where can you chaps get to so you can get here they can only just wander off the boat that's a bit of a shame so i tell you what, we'll get the cav there and these guys and yeah you put it under siege that's fine get the stuff sorted out and then you guys merge with them fine we have carthage under siege Let's just see what we've got. So we've got build points 49. All right, three ladders it is, I suppose. Good, 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 good. Right, the rest of the army. You guys just land to reinforce 
uh, but we won't be needing you to take that. It's only if they manage to get back over here. But I don't think they can make it because they haven't built roads. Oh, it is lovely. Now, they do have more men over here, and I've got myself a few of my own troops. But sadly, we're going to get squished and killed, aren't we? At the very least, what's going on in Masana? Yeah, there's an army over there. I'm just going to go into the forest. I know where... Uh, no, we're next to these chaps, but we'll just have to sit this one out. Ooh, yeah, we didn't get attacked over here. That's interesting. So, Araminum, Araminum, Araminum. Now, we can get ourselves over here. That's an ideal position, actually. We can get ready to pounce. Now, these guys are definitely vulnerable over here, but... As I say, it might just distract them, might pull them in one direction. And with any luck, they don't know we're here. Brutii coming around to Patavium, which is unfortunate, but if we have to let the Brutii take a few towns to, uh, yeah, take up the Julii, maybe we'll have to go with that. And with any luck, in a turn or two, we'll have ourselves Carthage, and these units can come and uh, help in that old affair as well. This could work out very nicely indeed. Here are those Briton troops. I think, sirs, you're too late. Now, they can get to Berricum. But there's nothing that you can do to stop me taking the town. Oh, this is this is kind of working out so well. Okay, Mr. Boaties, you get yourself over here. We do actually have more troops in this part of the world to go and pick up, so he might as well head over there. You get yourselves over to pick up land. That'd be good. And if nothing else, if nothing else. Let's just see what they've got over here. We don't know, but five units only. Okay. That's... That's good news. So this Mr. Boat over here, is it just a single boat, this bit? It might be. I'm struggling to figure out what the UI is doing. But hey-ho. Right, uh, as for Egypt, yeah, I noticed this army didn't take Bostra. It didn't even send a unit just to take it. It wandered off, which was interesting. But there's also quite a big force hiding around here somewhere. Where are you? There's a big army around here somewhere. Can't see them. Bit of a shame. Uh, my scouts, I'm quite happy leaving him around there. He seems chilled enough. And for the time being, it's probably a good idea to head into here. So, we've got ourselves the city in behind. Just a captain. Well, quite a few units, actually. Yeah, I'm not particularly fond of that. But I've got myself plenty of archers, which I do like. And what do we have here? Uh, hoplites and peasants. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Let's head into the Slayer Sids. The battle starts are simply enough, I suppose. Then we're just going to shoot down these militia hoplites and get our Bedouins. No, over there, please, says. Get those guys into the peasants before the rest of them show up. I think at this point you might as well uh, just start shooting these guys. They'll break before they even engage, I imagine. Look at these guys over there. Now the rest of them... Oh, whatever. We'll just we'll just get moving. Yeah, just start running into them. They're about to break. They're broken. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So with the free archers, hopefully running over here. Thank you very much. Grab our free infantry. Uh, yeah, there goes the general. Let's just pull ourselves into the position we want over here on this hill. He's dealt with that. And that is lovely. Now, we do need to take care of their cav. Are they withdrawing? They're withdrawing instantly. That's a bit disappointing. Hey, oh, well, um, archers, get yourself over here. Get our eastern infantry to, to start running in. Get the cav, you just start running at them. I don't care about going hand to hand. We'll just hope that they break when we hit them. So, in the camels go. We'll probably just be left with a couple of militia cavalry if we're lucky. Let's chase them down. We're going to see if we can get a break here as we touch them. We have, we have, we have. Let's get a second one. Try not to get poked. There they go. Okay, we've done the job. These guys aren't going to be needed. Cav, do as much damage as you can. There's only so much we can mop up at this point, but we've largely got the force dealt with. There'll be, um, yeah, about... Yeah, it's just massively flying down at this point. Yeah, we've pretty much got as much as we could have there. They withdrew very quickly, but a job well done nonetheless. The well-named Captain Megabus then heads on to Damascus. And I don't think there'll be an awful lot left to take on. Yeah, a couple hoplites that uh, were pretty near the edge of the battlefield when it all went down. And a couple of militia cav. We should be able to shoot those down in the city. Maybe just a couple more infantry than I wanted left remaining. But I think we'll be okay. 
Depends how much they've got reinforcement wise, but I'm not sure they've got too much. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, the Egyptians. It's okay if this force takes us on, we can probably hold out, but there are more coming, I believe. And that's a little bit concerning. And I'm very much lacking any reinforcements in this part of the world. Might be a case of doing as much damage as I can in that area, but for now, another battle. I mean, I feel like we're just we're racking through the battles here, but we do need to head into roads. This one should be simple enough. Archer Ahoy. And amazingly, their hoplites are standing right in the Cretan Archer range. And they're also now in the Slinger range too. I think this will be easy enough. We've got ourselves a beautiful little shot at the plaza. We've got ourselves a side street for the old trap if we need it. I don't really think it's even going to come to that. Although the Rune Slingers do seem a little bit confused. And I suppose that's fair enough. Trajectory, um, yeah, it's probably not really going to work in their favour with the older up and down business. Let's just go and get the Peltas in nice and close and we'll just repel some of these hoplites. With the Rodians inside the town then we can start to just sling them until they die. Oh, they're not dying. Uh, lads, run, run, like, run properly. Why aren't they dying? They're supposed to die. Why are they not dying? There we go. Okay, we lost a few Rodians rather unnecessarily there. That was a little bit unfortunate. Oh well, these things happen occasionally I suppose. Are we going to fail again? Yeah, we seem to be failing. Can you follow instructions at all? That would be lovely. A couple of stupid Rodian deaths aside, that was pretty successful. Bit of a shame, but there we are. Rhodes is ours. Glorious victory there. Rhodes will be exterminated and the Colossus of Rhodes. Glorious. Glorious. And uh, that should hopefully help our money a little bit. We're almost uh, towards breaking even at this stage. Now, we certainly could try and smash up one of these fleets here. Get these guys out of the way. They sunk one of ours as well, but we'll just have to accept that. As for where we're sending all our troops, I'm well, just worth checking none of these guys. Oh, yeah, I have two boats over here. Must remember I've got some spares around. Uh, what do I need to do? Well, I think first and foremost, we want to get these guys back away uh, from roads because they're not much use over there. Thank you very much, sir. So, what do I want to do with them? They are presumably going to head in before long. I still don't know where I can see if they've got any siege equipment or if I'm even able to see that anymore on the game. But uh, we'll maybe find out in time about that. You get yourself over there. How many Pontics are there? There's a few. Okay, there's a few over there. Let's just get everyone into one force. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, you know what? We'll at the very least attack these guys together simple enough then they're cleared off to be careful about getting these guys all killed but that force back on land we can head over here so at the very least we can yeah deal with pontus in the coming turns i don't really want to lose sardis if i can keep all these ports over here i'll be very happy with that now as for the rest of this i need to start moving up towards Thessaly, don't i the greeks are over here Send you round that way, actually. Yep. Down into this area. And that is the spy that I can see there. Hello. Not too worried about Macedonia, to be honest. But there are a couple of Greeks floating around. Now, if I was close to getting money, I would be very tempted to stay and wait a turn or two while I plod along. But I'm probably best striking while the iron's hot, to be honest. The problem is I don't want to leave the door open for the Macedonians to take on Athens. I feel like I'm better off going over to turn one, really. I think we'll wait at least one turn. If only because we're out to sack Carthage, that certainly will give us a nice pile of money. So, uh, yeah, one turn we'll be able to get in there. Although they do have elephants. <laughs> oh dear, that could be interesting. We have javelins, so hopefully that will clear out the elephants simply enough. Fine. Um, right, well, suffice to say, things are going fairly well. We're going to lose a few more towns yet, but, you know, things, some things are going our way at the very least. I can see an R. Ooh! <laughs> a big army! Well, it's mostly peasants, but a general. Got myself a lovely general here. Um, can I see his retinue? Who are you? Your missile calf. That's fine, your Numidian calf. So, no extra uh, hit point. In case you're not aware, the Rebel Generals do sometimes just turn up as characters based on normal units. So he's got no extra hit points, but 
still a man who can hire up some mercs once we get the opportunity for that kind of nonsense. So I'm just going and murder Numidia. <laughs> and of course, yeah, Numidia didn't get Fapsis either, did they? So they can be in big trouble. They can be in very big trouble indeed. Things are, yeah, interesting opportunities around. Next turn will probably let us see where our next moves are because I need some more intel around Greece. And with the Julii up here, looks like Aretia might be the easier option, but um, we'll have to see where all their troops are, I suppose. There is uh, this guy over here, so he can keep wandering, because they did have someone floating when I had my boat there a turn or two ago. Yeah, there we are. There's Vibius Julius outside, Suggester. He could come to reinforce, but that might not be enough. We'd have to see. Send a turn and find out. Interesting. Carthage are going to come out at a... Oh, they have two elephant units. <laughs> okay, this uh, was not what I was expecting. Um, okay, they are only basic elephants. Surprisingly flimsy. Um, we have javelins. If we can make them run a mark, they might run a mark into the other elephants and into the general. Best case scenario, we get these guys routing as near to their own city as possible and they go smashy smashy and uh, we just stay out of the way. Let's give it a go. Immediately I'm just going to get my javelins into these elephants, just cause as many issues as I can for them. they will take a few seconds just to get out of the gate, so uh, it hopefully gives us an opportunity here to throw in. Try not to get too far away as uh, yes, yeah, the skirmish activate. We'll activate it again very, very soon. Come on, get them running amok. It'd be really helpful if these guys are running amok, but sadly they're just pretty silly. Shaken. Um, are they going to go? Right next to the general would be ideal, but we can't quite manage to make it happen. Sadly, they're back to eager, and I don't think we're going to manage that. Bit unfortunate. I would have liked that to have worked out straight away. The javelin's still not really doing the job there. General's chasing down my general. That's hardly surprising. Now, what I want to do is try and sneak into the city. And to do that, of course... Are these guys going to break? Nope. Yeah, to do that, of course, I need some infantry. So if we can keep them as distracted as possible, that would be ideal. My infantry can now try and run back into a position where they can sneak in that would be ideal so hopefully that's what these chaps are going to do so you can grab that you guys come over here as well general will do some good work you're going to do some skirmishing too you're over here hopefully for the moment just to guard these chaps right you've got that get going get yourselves to that wall do we have enough 18 men is not enough to do that it's the problem the other problem we've got we don't actually have enough uh have enough Enough ladders, enough people to carry the ladders. It's all rather irritating. With any luck... Hmm, they're going for the infantry now, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're going for my infantry. Which is not ideal, but not a lot I can do about it. So we'll have to send the infantry we do have back over here to try and pick up the ladders. These elephants are now running amok. I'm not quite sure how we managed that with our infantry chaps, but we have, which is great news. This guy's just going to continue running into the ends of the earth. You chaps, oh, their they're elephants are coming round. See if we can distract them a little bit. They're here at the moment trying to get the towers busy. Hopefully they'll do that. You get into that particular lad. You, sir, grab that lad. We might be okay here if we can just wangle this around a little bit more. That general is flying off to the distance. See if you can distract him. We haven't actually got any arrows or javelins, do we? No. These guys might just get caught because we're a little bit near. Oh, we got their, we got their attention. We've got their attention. Keep chasing after us. That's what you want to do, Mr. Elephant. Ignore the infantry, but yeah, they also don't hit us either. That'd be really good. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no, I keep pressing the wrong button. That really doesn't help. Okay, looks like we might be able to get some of this infantry into position. You guys just keep moving that ladder forward. They're onto the walls. They're onto the walls. Just make sure this general's doing the right thing. But it looks like we've got an opportunity. So far, the outmaneuvering is working just about. The main thing for us is uh, them reacting to us taking all of this stuff. So... 
Uh, as we open this gate, these peasants are just going to run over to that far gate there and hopefully shut them off. I'm trying to keep their units as close as possible to the gates that I currently control or I'm about to. Right, you guys, run, 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 run. You guys as well, run, run, run. I think we might have this. We might be just shut them out of their own city, which would be absolutely spectacular. Uh, the general is doing a wonderful job of running away. He might well get sandwiched by elephants one day, but we can always shoot them with their own walls. Those lads are around there. You guys keep on running. My general has somehow stuck out of trouble all of this time, but we're now just pegging it into the city. We have ourselves the gate over here. These elephants are desperately trying to get around. I don't think they're going to make it in time. These guys are going to clamber their way up there before they can reach it. These guys are... are you running across the actual town now? You are indeed. You chaps get there. Cavalry is going to run onto the plaza. That definitely will trigger anyone who's still trying to make it here. But I think we're going to shut them out, which is absolutely glorious because these towers are finally just about under our control and the general is going to somehow survive by running away forever it's actually pretty close over here these elephants haven't made it in time we've got the gateway we've got all of the gateways 40 seconds left and carthage is as our general's got caught right at the death he probably ran out of room to reach but no he will survive carthage carthage well, there's outmaneuvering your enemies, and then there's whatever that was, where we... Yeah, the general's outside again. But, 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 plus 3,000 monies, which means that we can get a few new troops out of Athens and some of our other towns. That is big. Now, these guys are going to give us a poke, and to be honest, I think they were just peasants, weren't they? So, I don't think we're going to worry too much about that one. We'll just let those guys... Uh, Stop costing us money, no problem. We had scouts for a turn or so, but nothing too important. Now, with a new turn, there's going to be a lot more opportunities with the money in the bank. Sadly, we don't have any money to retrain over here in Carthage because still we sit in a tiny little deficit here. But I suspect a sacking of a town or two will alleviate that problem very soon. We can actually get spies over here, by the way, as well as the Longshield Cav, and they would make a big, big difference to us. Nonetheless, you might notice yeah, the general is actually standing outside. This um, must must be a new thing on Remastered. I've never noticed this on the old Rome. Obviously, they were under siege, so you would expect them to be killed if they lost the city. But yeah, we locked them out, so they are outside. That kind of makes sense, to be honest. I guess we're going to head in for the time being. Maybe we'll have to give them a poke now we've got the reinforcements. That was um, certainly an odd little affair there. Um, I don't really plan on sticking around Carthage, to be honest. That's going to be only interesting. Yeah, I'd rather move on very soon. But uh, if I can make use of a bit of money to get a couple units before I do, that's probably for the best. Indeed, uh, thinking about next time, we've also got plenty of men over here in Athens. And as much as I don't want to leave it empty, I would like to start moving onwards. Now we've got, ah uh, oh yes, Cleon Emenizov, that was terribly pronounced. Uh, this is calling uh, Cleon, just uh, because he is the enemy. Cleon of Sparta here needs to get himself killed. He might well attack us if he's an absolute lunatic. But our uh, merchant does have a little bit of an eye on Termon, and it doesn't look too well defended, which very much suits me. Now, all of my merchants in the world are annoying, but at the very least, as I say, they are some sort of spy in the meantime, so we'll make use of them best we can i reckon the greeks here can be nicely conquered as for um the pontix i'm not so fond of what's going on i've sent my army back into halicarnassus if only just for the moment i'll probably send them on the boat and use those to help with the assault on greece um i might just have to see what we're going to do about this i might just use it to get around to pergamum and defend it that way but at the moment it still has no walls because i can't afford them which is a little bit irritating, yes. So, how are we doing for money? Well, it's fairly even, but it keeps on fluctuating a lot. Of course, as the rebels' new armies just appear, they ruin all of your economy. But we are going to take a Berrican. Um, I noticed the uh, the Britons have actually vacated the town, which is a, a ballsy decision, I would suggest. But um, let's just move a little bit closer. This guy can continue to scout 
And where are they? They're over here at the watchtower. So we could catch them out over there if we're lucky or sensible about it. Don't think we're going to be able to break in and kill this guy with the couple units we have here, but certainly there is an opportunity in the near future. And uh, yeah, we really need to go and grab these men. Ah, perfect. Some more boats. That's just what we want to see. Tara, we'll finally make use of those units. Yes, uh, same thing over here with Tingy. This guy did look like he jogged out of the town. He is indeed locked out. Sadly, he probably will be able to get himself straight back in. So we should probably just smash up buildings that we don't want them to have afterwards. So we'll probably just do that. That gives us a little bit more money. We're nearly there. Get rid of the shrine to Baal. There we go. Mine's 116. Yeah, this is the plan. Smash up their infrastructure. Marvellous stuff. So I think we're largely set up for next time at this particular moment. Um, over in this part of the world, by the way, this was the army I was trying to find before. Yeah, bit of a problem. We're going to have to sunny forth at Jerusalem. Uh, Sidon's going to have to try and hold on while we take care of Damascus. Obviously, Antioch's also under siege. That will probably have to go... Oh, more elephants. That will probably have to go just to give us the funding we need. All right, this time we will be fine with the elephants because we've got five years of archers to flaming arrow them into madness. And we have some rebels who have popped up here, which is perfectly friendly and lovely. They will just come and support the siege over here. That very much suits me. So yeah, it's all go, as ever it is with the rebels. Uh, madness constantly ensuing. But uh, it's been another solid day. We've had a couple odd victories. Dixie tight ones where we kind of mucked around a little bit. So we're just to see how you can play around with the AI. Um, I, it's, I'm i not sure those are particularly... Uh, I don't know what's the best way. They're not the most sporting plays. But certainly it's interesting, particularly with this one over here, the fact that they were just going to sally forth at me forever. So I'll take my victories where I can take them, seeing as I'm the rebels. But next time, yeah, we've got to go and hold off in the east. But uh, more importantly, the big thing is Rome. The Julii are looking very vulnerable. I could attack either of the two towns here. Now, yeah, I've got to pick my target carefully. This is probably the best one because I can grab this guy out in the field and that might well be the best way of doing that battle. We've got reinforcements as well. So that's probably for the best. But I'm tempted by this because there is an army that just got this boat. I can't actually see it right now, but I did see it in the end turn. And if they're all going to appear separate, I have a good chance of taking them out. So a lot, a lot on our plates, but we are making progress. And I will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. So for now, I will leave you. I'm Thomas, this is Tennis to Human, and this is The Rebels Campaign. Thank you, and goodbye. In come the fire arrows. And if you're not aware, by the way, this is actually a traditional bourbon greeting. It says, come and dance with us. Come and dance in the flames. Come and dance and die on our streets. We have ourselves a foothold <laughs> in Italy. They broke! <laughs> we had them entirely surrounded!